Ulak and the Northern Lights by Harriet Peck Taylor In the far cold north lived Ulak the fox. Ulak was a very curious fox. He asked all kinds of questions, such as, Where does the wind come from? And where do rainbows go? What are clouds made of? And why is the sky blue? One evening, in the coldest part of winter, as twilight began to darken the sky, Ulak saw a pale, eerie light glowing in the north above the tundra. While he watched, the whole sky pulsed with strange blue and green ribbons of light that swirled across the darkness. Ulak simply had to find out what they were. Racing along the icy shoreline, he saw Seal. What are those glowing bands of color? he asked. They are the northern lights, my friend. Don't they look like the sun shining on the backs of huge schools of fish? They are a sign to us that this year there will be plenty of fish to eat. Ulak looked hard and thought he really did see fish. But maybe it was just his eyes playing tricks on him. Then they both heard Wolf's lonely howl. Ooh! Thanks for your help, Seal, but I think I'll go ask Wolf. Ulak found Wolf high on a windy ridge. Wolf, do you know anything about these northern lights? Of course, brother. They're the campfires of distant hunters. If you look hard, you'll see the flames as they flicker to and fro. I'm calling my relatives to warn them that hunters are approaching. I suggest that you, too, find safety among your people. But Ulak's curiosity was fierce, and he could not turn back. Thanks for the advice, brother. I guess I'll be on my way. Bounding down the snowy ridge, Ulak bumped into Polar Bear, catching them both by surprise. Come sit by me, Ulak, and I'll tell you about these dancing lights. Polar Bear pointed her big paw and said, This is a sign from our unborn children. Can you see how they turn somersaults like waves rolling on the shore? Ulak squinted and thought maybe he did see the somersaults. Still, Ulak was not satisfied. He decided to go on searching. Pretty soon he heard hooves crunching the crusty snow. Crunchity crunch, crunchity crunch. Caribou was galloping ahead, and Ulak raced to catch up. What's your hurry, my friend? Ulak asked. Please wait for me. Caribou slowed to a walk and said, I'm heading south to join the herd. I don't feel safe here by myself. But what are you frightened of? asked Ulak. Ulak, the caribou replied. I thought everyone knew that those lights are swaying ghosts. According to the legends, sometimes they actually come down from the sky. So it's dangerous to be out in the open. You may join me on my journey south if you'd like. Don't listen to caribou, Rabbit shouted as he leapt past. Follow me and you can celebrate with us. Ulak wished caribou well and was on his way, scampering across the frozen tundra. Up ahead were rabbits, all dancing on their hind legs and thumping their big rabbit paws in a steady rhythm. Can you feel the warmth of the lights? One of them asked. Another called out. We're celebrating the return of the magic sky rabbit who has come out of his burrow. See how the light sparkles on his fur? That tells us that winter will not last much longer. Ulak was so caught up in the moment that he joined in their happy dance. He even tried thumping his tiny fox paws in the snow. Thump, thump. Then suddenly, 
as Lulak was dancing on the edge of the group, an enormous snowy owl swooped down. Get on my back, Ulak, he commanded. I'll show you the northern lights. Ulak had never seen such a huge owl. He was a little bit afraid. But he was more curious than scared, so he climbed onto the great owl's back. Higher and higher they flew. Bright turquoise, pink and green curtains of light swept by. Streamers of light, looping and curling, flooded the night. If only he could touch them, Ulak thought. Little by little, the brightness faded, and darkness took back the night. Snowy Owl dropped Ulak on the icy ground then flew off and disappeared. Ulak shook his head to try to clear his thoughts. What were the northern lights? Where did they come from? And where did they go? He realized that he was no closer to solving the mystery. Finally, as the sun's first dim glow shone in the east, Ulak decided that maybe the northern lights were put there simply for everyone to enjoy, to light up the long dark night with their magic and beauty. When Ulak saw bright, colorful streams of light dancing through the night sky, he just had to find out what they were. He went on a journey and met animals with many different opinions along the way. Of course, science gives us an answer too. The aurora borealis is caused by particles from the sun combining with Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field. Although science tells us how the lights happen, we're still left wondering why. And like Ulak, we are fascinated by nature's beautiful designs. Let's draw the aurora borealis. Start with a sheet of black construction paper. You may want to tape it down to keep it from moving. You can also create a border by placing the tape over each edge. Next, let's create a landscape. Tear a sheet of paper to create mountains. Your mountains can be pointy or smooth. It's up to you. But tear them off in big pieces so they're easier to layer. For this project, we'll be using soft pastels. But if you don't have pastels, you can always use chalk. Soft pastels are pretty messy, so be sure to keep some paper towels on hand. Now you're ready to start the drawing. Start arranging your mountains. Put the largest mountain down first. It will be the closest to the front. You can hold it carefully in place or just tape it down. Next, using white chalk or chalk pastel, Draw a line along the edge of the mountain. Don't draw on the black paper yet. Just trace the line following the edge of the white mountain. Then use your finger to brush the line of chalk up onto the black paper. Now add your next largest mountain and tape it in place or hold it down firmly. Repeat the same process with this mountain. Drawing a line of chalk just behind the edge on the white paper and then using your finger to brush it up onto the black paper. Now let's draw the Aurora Borealis. Take a colorful chalk pastel and add curvy lines. They can go in any direction and you can add as few or as many as you want. The Northern Lights come in all kinds of designs. Using another color, add more lines following the first. And when you're ready, blend the lines with your finger. Trace your finger over the lines, blurring them little by little. You can add more lines and continue blending, adding more and more color to the picture. Try adding some thicker lines using the side of the pastel. And use the white chalk to add in some highlights. Just keep adding and blending till you're happy with how it looks. 
Then, for the finishing touch, take the white chalk and tap the edge across the page to create stars. Peel back the mountain layers to reveal your masterpiece. And slowly and carefully peel back the border tape. And there you have it, the mysterious and beautiful Aurora Borealis. For more information about receiving STEAM kits, visit the Kids and Families page at coosbaylibrary.org.